Hey everybody, it's Supersonic Calamity here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my Sonic Plush collection of 2023. Now mind you, I don't have many Sonic plushies, so this is going to be a pretty short plush collection, but let's just get straight into it. So let's start off with the Sonics, and this is the Sonic that you see in my plush videos. So this right here is a Jack specific classic Sonic, and he's the main character I use in all my videos, like the main Sonic that I use. And one thing I will mention right now is if you're wondering where I buy all of these Sonic plushies from, I buy them from Walmart. But yeah, this plushie is pretty cool and I really like it a lot. Now the second Sonic plushie we got is a modern Sonic. And this is also a Jack specific plush, but it's modern Sonic. So if you know from the games, there's classic Sonic, which is that one, the light blue. And this right here is modern Sonic, which is dark blue and has the green eyes. And the reason why I don't really use this plushie that much is because this guy's modern and I have mostly classic characters and Jax usually makes classic characters so it'd be kind of weird for me to use this modern Sonic and then having like a classic Knuckles and a classic Tails and a, even a classic Eggman. Um, so it would get pretty confusing, that's why I don't use this plushie at all. But it's still a nice plushie to have in the collection. And the next Sonic plushie we got is this massive big Sonic. So I'm pretty sure this is a Franco Sonic pillow plush. But let me know down in the comments below if you know. And just look at the size of this thing. This thing is massive. I can't even fit it like the whole thing on the camera. Well, wait a second. There you go. Now you can see it. So one thing I really like about this plushie specifically is this Sonic's plushie spikes are actually at the back. Unlike those ones, which have a pancake head, which looks like this. Yeah, this doesn't really look that great. So that is one thing I like about this plush. But the reason why I don't use this plushie at all is because one, he's way too massive, two, he's a modern Sonic, and three, I don't really like how they put these, um, sort of, I don't know what they are, but like, I guess like, wrists for like his gloves and whatnot, like, they always move, even though parts on his leg, they always move around as well. So, that's why I don't really like this plushie, but I do plan on using him for one video, which is like maybe Sonic just growing big, and maybe even getting green eyes. Now the last Sonic plush we got is a Super Sonic. And this right here is a Jack specific classic Super Sonic. You can tell because he doesn't have the red eyes, like the one with modern Sonic. And you can also tell from his shoes. You see this? They're completely red from the bottom. Well, if you take a look at modern Sonics, they're gray. So yeah, that's another thing why I decide to use classic Sonic, just because I also have a classic Super Sonic. And it would kind of make no sense for modern Sonic to turn into classic Super Sonic, like, that's just weird. But yeah, pretty sweet plush. Now let's move on to Sonic's buddy Tails. And this right here is the Jack Specific Classic Tails. And this is actually the only Tails that I own. Now I do really like how this plushie looks, but I don't really like its tail. Because Tails has two tails, but this kind of looks like he has one tail because they kind of stitched both tails just together. And I am pretty sure that GE also, like they didn't do this, they actually added two tails. That's what I kind of like about the GE one. Um, but yeah, I guess this plushie is still cool to use nonetheless. Now let's move on to Knuckles, and the Knuckles plush I have is this classic Jack Specific Knuckles plush. And you can tell this plush is really worn out just by like its gloves, like as you guys can see, his boxing gloves I guess. Um, you can tell they're really dirty and the stitching's kind of coming off them as well. So yeah, I have had this plush for a pretty long time. And fun fact, I actually bought this Knuckles the time I bought that uh, classic Super Sonic right there. But man, I just really love this plushie so much. Like. It's just me, it's me Knuckles, like, I'm, I'm perfect, I'm, I'm just perfect. But yeah, I just really love this plushie so much. And the next plush we got is this classic Jack Specific Eggman. And man, I gotta say, I actually really love this plushie, like, so much. Like, I just love the design of this plush, him actually being, like, fat. And it perfectly comprehends with the classic Eggman you see from the classic games. So yes, I really like this plushie a lot. The next plush we got is this modern shadow because a classic shadow does not exist. So yeah, this is a modern shadow Jack specific plush. And I do actually plan on using him in videos in the future, but I just don't really know like how to introduce him and I don't really like, I don't know what type of personality to give him yet. So that's why I really haven't introduced him yet. And also he doesn't really fit in with like all the classic characters I got because there's no classic shadow. I really wish there was. But it doesn't really make sense to have a modern shadow with the classic characters, but I'll make it work somehow. But I do really like the design of this plushie, like on his hover shoes. Are they hover shoes? I'm pretty sure they are. And just like the back design looks nice. I just don't really like this right here. As you guys can see, it's kind of been pinched from there because usually like whenever I hold this plush, I kind of hold it from here because his head sort of like tilts down. So you kind of have to like 
pinch him from here to make his head actually tilt up. I, I'm pretty sure that's with all of the Jack's uh, Shadow plushies. I'm not too sure. Um, but fun fact, this was actually released on Sonic's 30th anniversary. Same goes for that modern Sonic and then the classic Knuckles and classic Super Sonic they kind of re-released. So thought that was a cool fun fact for you all to know. And the last plush we got is this classic Mighty Jack Specific plush. And this plush actually comes from the new wave of Jack Specific uh, plushies that they've been dropping for the Sonic characters. They did also drop Ray, the Flying Squirrel, and uh, the Jade Wisp, but I haven't really found them yet. I did find Ray class the Ray Flying Squirrel one like one time, but then like I didn't buy it. I just bought this one only. So yeah. So I'm not sure if you'll find this in stores now, but they're like, there's like a ton of Jade Wisp plushies that they just never seem to run out of those for some reason. But man, I'm still really happy that I got to buy this classic Mighty. And I do plan on using him in videos someday as well. But there you have it guys, there's my Sonic plush collection for 2023. Like I said, I don't really have many Sonic plushies, but I think I've gotten enough to like actually, you know, kickstart my channel. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite Sonic plushie was in this video. And subscribe to the channel and like the video. I do hope to get more Sonic plushies in the future, but there's my Sonic plush collection, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.